Hello and welcome back. Let's take a look at the validation that we've added to our ticket management system so far. So here's the um, add ticket form. If we click on add, we get this validation. So the summary field and the description, they both need to be entered. So where did we define those validation rules? Let's take a look in the code. Just a little recap first, let's have a look at the uh, ticket controller. So in controllers, ticket controller. Now, if we are adding a new ticket, then it will be the store method that gets called. So on entry to this, uh, this function, you can see that we are passing a ticket update request. And if you remember back to the, uh, the last video, we created a form request. So let's just take a quick look at that. So in here is where we define the rules. So summary is required and description is required. Now these are very basic rules, but suppose we need to add some more complex validation. How would we do that? For instance, if we go back to the add ticket um, form, Suppose that when a user rings up and uh, wants to create a ticket with us, suppose when we're creating a ticket, we want the summary uh, to be mandatory, but we don't want the description, we, well, or rather we don't need the description to be filled in. We want to allow um, the user to create a new ticket with just the summary. So how would we do that? Programmatically, we could say something like uh, description is mandatory only if the status isn't open. So that would allow new tickets with the status of open to be created without a description. So let's look at how we might do that. We're going to use Laravel's custom validation rules. So PHP artisan make rule and we'll call this store with a capital store ticket rule okay spell that right press enter on that rule created successfully but where well we now have a new folder called rules and in here there's our store ticket rule so let's just have a look in there uh, we don't need the constructor, so let's just get rid of that. Uh, passes, this is the uh, method we need. You know what, we've only gone and called this the wrong thing. This is better called, um, well, I mean, the rule is concerning uh, making the description mandatory here. Uh, on a ticket which isn't open. So actually the rule would be better called um, what should we call it? Open Ticket Description Rule. I know it's a mouthful but let's just go with that. So um, where is it? Here. I'm just going to rename this quickly. So we shall call it Open Ticket Description Rule. Okay, so that's updated the uh, the class name there, and that's what it's called. Everything looks okay, so we can continue to put the um, the validation into the passes method. So we'll just do that now. The attribute is the description field, and the value is its value. So what are we testing? Well. Um, we want to return false, that means validation has failed, if the description is blank and the status is anything other than open. So in that circumstance, validation has failed and that's why we want to return false from the passes method. So let's just, uh, let's just code this in a very basic fashion. So we have access to the, the value of the description in there. So if 
value is blank and we have access to the status using the request helper so we'll put that in there and that has to be something other than open for it to fail so in this case we want to return false and in any other circumstance we will return true now that we have our fabulous new rule how do we make use of it well let's copy its name uh, we can use it in the rules within our form request so it's for the description and when we use custom validation rules we're going to put these in an array and it's a new rule so new open ticket description rule uh, we'll just pull in the uh, the namespace for that so this is saying that the description is required and it's also subject to the validation rules that we we've just typed in in the open ticket description rule so we'll say that and uh, let's give it a whirl I'm just gonna go back and add a new ticket okay the status is open so we would expect the description to be allowed to be blank so let's click add and that's not worked so we're gonna have to figure out why back to the code and da, 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 that's the rule that's the rule that looks okay uh, aha. okay so um, this is surplus to requirements isn't it because it's it's saying that um, it's required and we're going to implement these new rules so w actually we need to get rid of that so just get rid of that save that let's try again go back and add new tickets add ah oh, look at that that's wonderful okay so we can now um, leave the description blank if the status is open uh, okay conversely let's update an existing ticket um, let's just check that the validation works okay there yep that's okay um, it's still open so let's blank this out update oh dear this is because of course description we're allowing description to be blank uh, but it thinks it well it knows it cannot be null so we're going on a quest now we're going to change that column attribute um, so in database migrations where we defined our ticket table um, we're going to change the description to be nullable and of course we will need to uh, refresh our migration we're going to drop everything and re-migrate with the fresh command php artisan migrate fresh now it's a bit drastic because we're going to lose all our data uh, but we can quickly create it using tinker again so php artisan tinker and let's quickly create a hundred tickets so. give that a whirl Oh, it likes it so we'll go back to tickets 
Oh my god, we've got a fresh load of tickets. Let's add a new ticket. So, add. Everything's blank. Only the summary is errored, which is good. So, let's create this one. Oh, thank God for that. Thank the Lord. So, it's allowed a blank description for an open uh, ticket. So, the new validation rule is working, and also the change that we made to allow the description to be null. Uh, that's worked as well. So if we change this to be in progress, we would expect the description to be errored. And that's good news. So mission accomplished. We've uh, seen how we can create custom validation rules in Laravel.